Okay, from the profile, we want to just bring this chin hair forward so that what we're getting is a nice long elongated head. Now he could use some more muzzle hair here. We're working on growing that in. And then underneath your pattern of stripping is all the way up here to your eye tooth, which is your canine tooth. And there's a little uh, flue right here that where the skin folds over. Everything in that fold and everything back from that fold gets stripped as part of your flat work. So you can see that the little beard is actually just a little bit there. It's not a full beard like a schnauzer has. It's a, just a little goatee. How you're creating your foreface or your muzzle, whichever you want to call it, is with the hair that hangs over this stripped part underneath. So this hair you want really, really short, really smooth, really tight, right here. Work it right into a flat line. We're trying to make it parallel with the, with the upper part there. I'm going to work this calic right here a little bit while I'm moving down the shoulder. Okay. So you can see that even though I stripped the under jaw to the eye tooth, this hair that's hanging over is creating still our correct head style, but the hair is not coming from underneath. It's being covered by this hair growing down and making our shape. 